welcome back to the show. You know, with the weather finally warming up, you're likely to start seeing more motorcycles out on the road. And while it's an exciting thrill for many, sadly, each year hundreds are injured in accidents. So it's very important to know what to do if the unthinkable happens. And here now with some helpful advice is attorney Paul Godlewski from the Minneapolis law firm of Schwabel, Get and Sieben. Paul, thank you so much for joining us sure. this morning. Great to Pleasure see you. Pleasure to be here. Thank I, you. I say yeah. this in all due respect. Okay, go ahead. You don't look like a biker. But you are. You ride motorcycles. I do. And uh, yeah. you can't judge a book by the cover, I guess, is what I, I should be saying. I guess that's right. And yeah. there's a lot of uh, uh, businessmen uh, and women, doctors, lawyers, that do ride bikes. That's correct. And my senior partner, Jim Schwabel, rides a motorcycle. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, is there a difference, and we're going to switch now and talk about insurance coverage, because that's, that's we really want to cover that. Is there a difference between insurance coverage for a motorcycle than, say, your regular automobile? There is. There's a significant difference. Uh, in a motorcycle coverage, the only thing that's required is liability, mm -hmm. whereas if you're an automobile, you're familiar with the concept of no-fault insurance, so that if you're in a, a crash, unfortunately, if that occurs, your medical bills are covered under your own policy. Mm -hmm. And motorcycles that particular coverage is not required. So you actually have to ask for it okay. to get it. Okay. And then on the other end of it, there's uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage, which is not required for motorcycles either. Okay. You have to actually ask for this coverage to get it. That's what I, that, what I was gonna ask next. Okay, hypothetically, Rob's gonna go out and buy a motorcycle. Next thing, I've gotta get insurance or maybe get insurance first, I don't know. What do I look for? Well, one of the things you want to look for right away is um, don't ask for the cheapest coverage. Okay. Uh, don't be afraid to search for uh, coverage that is at least a hundred to three hundred thousand for liability and for uninsured and underinsured motorists. That much. And it's not the premiums don't double mm -hmm. when you get the coverage in that uh, amount. What happens is the highest premium dollars for insurance coverage are the first levels of coverage. Mm -hmm. So if you have, for example, $30,000 worth of coverage, which is the minimum in Minnesota, okay. if you double it to $60,000, your premium won't double. It might only go up a few dollars. Okay, is the coverage the same? Then you see a lot of people um, giving people rides, riding on the back of a motorcycle. Is it, are, they, are they covered as well? Uh, they would not be covered under the motorcycle uh, policy for no-fall coverage. Okay. If the passenger happens to be a resident of your household, uh, they would not be covered either. Really? Uh, you'd have to ask for the coverage for them. This is, I'm talking about medical bills now. Do you think a lot of people realize this when they go out and buy their motorcycle coverage? Is this a question you should be asking your I agent? Unfortunately, I always see people after the fact. Oh. And when we ask them if they have medical pay coverage, uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage, we're frequently disappointed in that they have very low coverages or none available for them. If, if they're hurt badly. You would think this would be a no-brainer if you were an insurance agent that they would tell the uh, person buying the policy, look, you know, if you plan on giving so-and-so a ride, you're, you know, someone from your family or anyone, you would have to buy a certain, you know, policy. Well, what do you think? A lot, of, a lot of people, when they do this, Rob, just go and want to get the basic coverages. They just don't know that there's a significant... They want to get on the road. They don't know there's a significant <laughs> difference between uh, uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage when it comes to a car versus a motorcycle. What is the difference? Uh, the difference is uh, for a motorcycle, it's not mandatory. They don't have to be offered it when they go by their policy. In an automobile coverage, it's mandatory. It has to be provided. And you're also uh, an advocate and very involved with the Brain Injury Institute of Minnesota. Talk about that a little bit and, and the helmet laws. I am. Um, I have a nephew uh, who had a head injury on a motorcycle mm -hmm. and through that contact and the resources available through the Brain Injury Association, I became active on the board of directors. And one of the things the Brain Injury Association stresses is prevention. And one of the best methods of preventing serious injuries in a motorcycle crash is wearing a helmet. Why do people not want to wear a helmet? Uh, you know, there's a lot of reasons for it, and it's quite controversial when you talk about personal choices. Minnesota does not have a mandatory helmet law. Mm -hmm. But if you drive up into Michigan, it's mandatory. So right. a lot of motorcyclists carry charts with them as to what states they're traveling through where they have to wear a helmet or not. And it boils down to personal choice here in Minnesota. And there is some school of thought that perhaps in a motorcycle crash, if you're wearing a helmet, you might have a more significant injury to your neck. I haven't seen any research to that effect, but there's some That's strong belief 
yeah, by, by some motorcyclists, but that occurs. Very interesting. Well, thank you so much for stopping you by bet. today. We are going to start seeing a lot more motorcycles out we there. We are. I've like seen this. them already. You All bet. All right. We'll stop by again. Thank you, Rob. Schwebel Getz and Steven is located at 5120 IDS Center in Minneapolis. For more information, call 612-377-7777 or log on to schwebel.com.